Tourism Minister the Honorable Dionisio Diaguilar says he is also excited about the addition of the Point to Bay Street, saying it will add a fresh new feel. He says the Margaritaville brand property marks the beginning of the long journey of revitalization to downtown and it will give tourists an added incentive to disembark cruise ships. The tourism minister says he finds the water features to be the most exciting aspect of the project. The cruise ship passengers come here each and every day and they complain bitterly that there's not much for them to do. And we need a product that's fun and interesting, outdoors, involves the water, involves the, the sun, sand and sea of our country. And I'm very excited that they are beginning the, 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 the effort of providing something different uh, um, for them to do. Obviously it won't uh, uh, interfere with Junkanoo Beach because Junkanoo Beach is free. And I'm sure they're going to charge people. So um, it will provide uh, uh, another uh, attraction for some people to, to involve, it, involve themselves in and a reason for them to come off the boat. While some have expressed concern that the country may not have enough tourists to fill rooms at Atlantis, Bahamar and the Point, Diagolo says it is not a concern for him. He says the properties all reported extremely healthy bookings over the Christmas holiday. The tourism minister also says group business may become more competitive, but the groups will be excited about more options. Meantime, he expressed a concern about airlift. The airlines have told us, we see an increase in demand, we will add additional lift. And they are certainly seeing uh, um, uh, an increase in demand. And uh, they may not pu be putting on more flights, but they're putting on bigger planes. So they're getting more people in and out of here. Right now, um, we feel that we're, we're, we're coping with it comfortably. Um, but as demand grows, and we expect a very, f very vibrant first quarter um, from our key markets, our major source markets in the Northeast, we're expecting double-digit growth in the first quarter of this year. So we're very excited um, and, and very enthused about the robustness of, of tourism as we move into 2018. We're expecting a stellar year in Nassau and the Family Islands. Obviously, Freeport remains the challenge.